Well, deals are one way to save money, but with food, energy, taxes, and cost of living growing, how do we cope with inflation at home? I talked to personal finance expert Anthony O'Neill about what we can do to hold on to more of our money and why now is the time to consider finding a way to bring more of it in. We're all feeling the pressure on our pocketbooks. We've got people already voting for the midterms with early voting right now. What's your advice to people that are worried about this economy? Americans tend to vote with our wallets, right? But no matter who's in an administration, uh, they can't control our personal finances because they're personal to us. O'Neill says it isn't ideal, but if you can swing it, pick up a second job or a side hustle. As we're going into the holiday seasons, we're seeing that companies like Amazon Prime and FedEx are paying people anywhere between 17 to 24, $25 an hour. Instead of finding new income, people are making the mistake of pulling money out of investments. 38% of investors said they sold stocks last year, according to a Magnify Money study. The moment you pull it out, it's permanent. If it's still in there, it's just on paper going up and down. Let it just run its cycle. Let it just run its course. When it comes to saving money, focus on cuts to energy and food expenses. O'Neill suggests a couponing comeback. Look at apps like Flip and Ebota. They're going to actually tell you what's on sale at what particular store. You're going to shop when you're not hungry and shop uh, when you have a list. You're going to stick to that list and you're going to shop in season for this season. Coupons.com, Coupon Pro, Crazy Coupon Lady, and Totally Target are some other good options. And the top energy tip? And I'm going to set my temperature to about 7 to 10 degrees lower, layer up a little bit, and my energy bill drops dramatically. While you may not be willing to lower the thermostat 7 to 10 degrees while in your house, if you were to do that for eight hours a day when you're at work, it would save you about 10% on your energy bill. 